What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Chukubu Ikem and today we're talking about Luma Labs which is just an incredible website and software that gives us the ability to turn real world objects like this water bottle into complete 3D models that you can import into Blender, After Effects and so much more. In fact, we talked about 3D models in my last video. If you want to go learn about that, go check that out because all you got to do now is enter a prompt and you get like a full-fledged 3D model which is absolutely mind-boggling but now let's say you don't maybe there's something specific in the real world that you want to use well now you can use luma to get that situation done so here we're on luma and this is the website and my, can i just say that this is such a fire website i mean guys like look at that that is that is pretty and that is beautiful. Here is not actually where you'll get it done. I just want to show you the website because it does show you where you can begin to start capturing these real world objects and turning them into 3D models. And there's interactive scenes you can see right here. Um, this is actually a drone shot of a castle, which is absolutely bonkers. And this was done with a drone. And this is a real 3D landscape that you can actually take and put into your own video games and stuff like that. But with us today, we're starting off pretty small we only got our camera and a lot of heart and a lot of passion so follow me we're going to actually download the ios version which will give us the ability to now make 3d objects out of just our everyday items and it is a pretty fun experience a little long but we were able to get the job done now once you download the app it's actually really simple i can't lie they walk you right through it what you want to do is point the camera directly at the object that you want to make the 3d model of make sure that crosshair is in the middle of it then you're going to tap the screen once then you're going to go to the back or the opposite side of where you tap that screen so that you can have like a front and a back of the 3d object and then once you've done that you will have to put the object in a box now this kind of AR box is what's going to determine the amount of space that the object takes adjusting that box can be a little tricky but you will get the hang of it you just have to use the blue arrows at the top sides and bottom to shrink and enlarge the size of the box and once you do that it should look like this then you're going to do a top middle and lower ring around the object and you definitely are going to want space for this depending on how big the object is when i did the water bottle i didn't need much space when i did the suitcase i definitely needed more space but i was able to get it done but man when i tried to do it for my sister it took it took a lot of tries we actually had to go outside for it and that's when we were able to actually get a good 3d rendering model so you definitely want space for this but look at what we made now the rendering can take a little bit of time on average it took maybe 30 minutes depending on the render that's what that that was my experience with it now we could be honest the quality of the render is not quite professional but when you factor in the fact that this only took a few minutes and literally no 3d modeling experience or training i mean this is the future that ai is trying to bring to us and i'm here for it and what's beautiful is that you can always preview what you did within the app once it's done rendering you open it up and then you can just look at it from all the different angles that it provides you and you gotta admit that preview is beautiful but when you want to share all you have to do is click the share button in the bottom right and then it'll bring up the different assets that you can share it in i don't i can't say that i know everything about how this works but i know that if you click gltf you can choose whichever diffuse model you want but i always choose the high poly diffuse listen guys i'm new to this if you guys have anything to teach me in the comments definitely let me know but then once you click high poly diffuse you will get this warning about how the render won't look the exact same in blender and other uh 3d editing softwares you need not worry about that just click proceed and once you do that you will be given a glb file which i personally like to upload into my drive then i pull it down for me to use in the video like you saw earlier before through after effects but i'm sure some of you more advanced users could probably come up with so many other ways that you could do this but hey i'm doing what i can now I, your boy is going to learn blender i promise you guys i will learn blender so that we can have some more fun with these videos but i have learned how to use after effects and it's pretty much the same thing you can import it and for those who are experienced in after effects and blender i'm sure you guys will have a blast um with me i'm just hyped to be able to do this if there's something specific that you want you don't have to make it from scratch anymore you can literally take your camera and create it and then import it into your projects now of course this isn't perfect it does have a little a few kinks that it needs to work out but i mean this last year of ai has just been 
uh, nothing but evolution and improvement. So I have high hopes for what this will be. As always, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and sticking around. Have a great day. Peace.